Jordan Davis might be on the big side, but the manner in which he moves on the field is almost scary. At 6 feet 6 inches and 340 pounds, Davis moves like the Flash. As the huge rookie gallops at an unbelievable pace, the NFL is still yet to recover from the shock. Stay tuned as we check out the man himself and how he has been shaking the league. When you watch the young defensive tackle on the field, the first thing you notice about him is his huge size, and he is really good at dropping jaws with the speed he moves with on the field. For his big size, he should be impossible to move that fast. The NFL is still yet to recover from the feed he pulled at the NFL Combine. With a big player like Davis on the field, assumptions must have been made, but he legitimately made the entire NFL hold his beer as he posted a 4.78 in the 40-yard dash. Among the defensive linemen who finished their 40-yard dashes, Davis ranked second, completing just 0.2 seconds behind Nick Bonito. In some way, it almost felt like he finished first because, at 340 pounds, it is remarkable that he was able to move that fast because Benito, who finished ahead of him, is about 100 pounds lighter. He really showed that in spite of his gigantic size, his speed is unparalleled. He finished with a shocking 4.78, that time clocked faster than J.J. Watts at 4.81, Patrick Mahomes at 4.80, Joey Bosa at 4.86, Dak Prescott at 4.79, Demarcus Lawrence at 4.8, and Frank Clark at 4.79. He legitimately became the first player above 300 pounds to run a 4.78 in one and a half decades and the third player ever over 330 pounds to run under 5 seconds. His rare combo of bulk and agility just makes one wonder. How explosive was Davis in college? It appears that in college, he was the face of Georgia's dominant defense. Well, that is no surprise, as he is on his way to being the face behind the dominant defense of the Eagles. His jovial, laughing face might be a distraction from his big size, but falling for it is very disastrous, because when Davis means business, he rocks the field, almost literally. So what did this mammoth of a player achieve in college? When he first came to Georgia, he was a three-star recruit who was overlooked because some saw him as an offensive lineman coming out of North Carolina. However, Georgia saw him as a raw mine of diamonds, just waiting to be exploited. And exploit they did. They inserted him in the lineup in the middle of his freshman year, and he skyrocketed from here. As a Heisman candidate in his senior year, he was the most popular player on the best defense in the nation. People often wondered why he didn't go pro in his second year because at that point, he was covering ground. In his freshman year, he played 11 games and recorded 25 tackles with one and a half sacks. Then as a sophomore, he recorded 18 tackles, four and a half tackles for loss, and two and a half sacks in 14 games. And in spite of the COVID-shortened season in 2020, he recorded 16 tackles and a sack alongside leading his team to win the 2021 Peach Bowl. Then as a senior, he had a career high with 32 tackles, a rushing touchdown, and two sacks. Wrapping up his college career with 91 tackles, 7 sacks, 1 rushing touchdown, and 26 interceptions, he was ready to join the NFL and he showed the nation just how ready he was with that astounding feat at the NFL Combine. How has he been rocking the NFL? When Davis started at the beginning of the year, the Eagles defensive tackle Milton Williams was one of those who was enamored by the rookie and he dropped some advice for him. After all, he was a rookie the previous season as well. I just tell him to take advantage of the opportunities, Williams said. I'll be like, man, you're big, strong, and fast. One-on-one, -on -one, ain't nobody going to block him. Two-on-one, -on -one, they're not really going to move him. So it's creating one-on-ones for the guys on the outside. So I tell him to go hard, play hard, chase the ball, play with his hands, and produce. Well, with his terrific physique, this is quite possible because it makes him a formidable opponent on the field. Then combine that with his scary speed, and he is unstoppable. Did Davis heed the words of his fellow defensive linemen? You bet he did, because he has been a storm on the field all season. The young player has played 42% of the Eagles' defensive snaps against the Arizona Cardinals, making it his largest snap share of the season. Well, this is no surprise, because with the exception of Week 3, he has ensured his snap count percentage consistently rises with each game. His first game wasn't so eventful because it almost felt like he was underutilized by the team, but as the season progressed, the team gave him more playtime, and he had not let down as he's showing excellent results. What did Eagles coach Nick Sirianni have to say about Davis's consistent progress? He's a big man who has to continue to learn how to play in the NFL against other big men, Sirianni said. So he's getting better each week. He's doing a good job. He has had his best game to date, last game, referring to the game against the Cardinals. And again, he's just in that mindset, the growth mindset of how he gets better every day. And you can be sure his splash plays get a reaction in the film room because his teammate confirms this. 
Some of Davis's splash plays typically get a reaction in the film room, particularly one against the Jacksonville Jaguars when he broke into the backfield and slammed Jags running back Travis Etienne to the ground, said Williams. Watching him every day since training camp and practice, we know what type of player he is and what he can become based on what we've seen so far. We know he can only get better. We see some of those highlight splash plays. It's going to be scary when he really puts it together. Well, who wouldn't? He sure is very intimidating. His nose tackles do way more than just absorb blockers and clog the middle of the defensive front. And in the first five games, he arguably became the highest rated rookie defensive lineman in the league. In response to how Davis has contributed to the run defense, Jonathan Gannon, the Eagles' defensive coordinator, said, He did a good job when he was in there. I thought he played his technique well and executed what we were asking him to do well. I feel comfortable with Jordan playing in the three- and four-man fronts. He is a defensive tackle and can play all those techniques within all those schemes. Davis seems like the perfect player, but he isn't because despite having all the best attributes possible, his greatest enemy is his mind, and recently, he opened up about his self-confidence issues. Now that might be shocking. He's got the speed, the size, and the agility, and yet, still doubts himself. It might be hard to believe if you just focus on the NFL world, but coming out of it, his doubts suddenly become relatable. I think it's more of an imposter syndrome. Like, you're not supposed to be there, Davis explained. But you really are there for a reason. Your mind is your greatest ally and your greatest enemy sometimes. At the end of the day, you have to tell yourself, I am here for a reason. His big size and superb athleticism often make people forget that he is still a 22-year-old kid who has been facing a lot of pressure way before he became a first-round pick. In college, much was expected from him, and sometimes in the 2018 season, he was beat up by self-confidence issues. To cope with these issues, he had a visit to a therapist. He narrated, College is when I started taking charge of my mental health. It's a huge deal. With his NFL Combine record, much is already expected of him, as he became part of the Eagles' defense, and because he places his mental health as a priority, he meets up with a professional. Despite this, he sometimes has to remind himself that he was built for this. I mean, I'm still struggling with it today, but I got a great group of guys that helped me through it. I'm not the first one. I'm not the only one. I'm not going to be the last one. Just knowing that keeps me prepared. I know that I am here for a reason, and I just have to play up to that level, he continued. Davis's doubts might be his weakness, but his recognition and admission of this just makes him a stronger and more admirable player. With his great performance in college and at the NFL Combine, he has a lot of eyes watching him, so it is quite normal for him to feel pressure to prove his worth in the NFL. Plus, being a large player on the field, he naturally draws attention. Nevertheless, it is outstanding that Davis still continues pushing forward, playing to prove something to the league and, most importantly, to himself. With a rare combination of speed, size, and athleticism, he is absolutely ready to blow the NFL away while strengthening the defense of the Eagles. What more is expected of this magnificent giant of a player? How bright is his future in the NFL? Well, only time can tell, but one thing is certain, he has imprinted himself as the Michael Jordan of the NFL.